today is a Q&A weekends episode where we answer your question right here on the show. If you want to ask a question, just email us at contact at 100mba.net. Or you can use our Speak It option where you record your question. We play right here on the show. Check that out on our show page, 100mba.net slash show. As always, I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. And today's question comes from Sally. And Sally asks, I hate to write. You talk about blogging all the time and how it's important in any online business. Do I have to start a blog for my online business? Is there another way for me to grow my platform? Don't worry about it, Sally. I got you covered. I'll be answering your question in detail in today's episode. And I'm sure other people have the same question in their head. I can't wait to get into it. So let's get down to business. Today's episode of The Hunter All-NBA Show is sponsored by Infofree.com. If you're struggling to find new customers, you should check out Infofree.com. They make it easy to find new customers with their database of great, great leads. Do you want to reach prospects with phone calls, emails, or direct mail? Infofree has you covered with its database of 14 million businesses and 220 million consumers. It gives you the power to target specific leads that are right for your business. And Infofree.com is giving you a 30-day risk-free trial. Just go to Infofree.com slash MBA. That's Infofree.com slash MBA. Sally asks, does she have to have a blog for her online business? She hates writing and she wants to know, is it a must? Well, first of all, Sally, this is not an uncommon concern. A lot of people do not enjoy writing or feel like they're not good at writing. And therefore, they shun away from starting a blog. I have two parts to today's answer. My first part is, you don't have to have a blog in its traditional form where you write articles. You can have a blog that has video posts where you maybe just write two or three lines describing what that video is and have you on video providing value. Some call this a vlog. But the point is that you can create great content via video if you do not want to write. You can also create infographics, which are very, very popular and get shared a lot on social media, especially with Pinterest. If you like visuals and want to create a visual explanation of the concept you're showing or teaching, infographics are a great solution. You can also have a podcast, creating value in the audio format. So there's other ways for you to create or generate content on your quote unquote blog on your website and build your platform and build your business and support your online business through content marketing. But I told you there's two parts to my answer. And as always, I'm honest with you guys. I always promise an honest answer and tell you the truth because I want to see you win and I want to do what's best for you. And my second part of my answer is even if you do a video blog, even if you do infographics, even if you do a podcast, you're going to have to write because one of the most critical elements to any video is writing down a script and having an outline so you know that you're nailing the points you need to nail on the video. The best sales videos that are out there are very well scripted. Ever watch a great movie and say, wow, I'm loving this movie. I'm so like, you know, completely into it. That's because the script is amazing. The same goes with infographics. Yes, you have images, but you need to outline this and have some sort of data. Podcasting, same thing. And a lot of people don't know that on The Hunter Bay Show, I outline heavily every episode and I rehearse and make sure that all my ideas are completely manifested in black and white in writing first so I can analyze them and make sure that I'm delivering the right message. So Sally, my honest, honest answer is if you hate writing, it's okay because you can hate something one day and love it the next. And I'm guessing the reason why you hate it is because maybe you don't enjoy it because you don't feel like you're great at it. But you can improve. You can get better and you can get better quite quickly if you just start doing it and not worry so much about how great it is. This is one of the main reasons why I say you should start a blog is so you can get the writing out of you, so you can get into practice of expressing yourself in written form. So you don't have to publicly write. You don't have to publicly write on the blog. If you want to do a video blog, awesome. But you have to do some personal writing for yourself, improve your writing skills with some scripting, with some outlining. You don't have to publish that outline, obviously, but you have to get in the habit of expressing yourself through the written word. Maybe your hate for it is just putting your work out there and not really you just writing for yourself. And let me tell you something. I'm speaking out of experience. I never saw myself as a writer. I never thought myself as a prolific, amazing author or something like that. And I still don't think I'm amazing, but I'm a whole lot better than I used to be. 
my biggest fear is that I'm going to write something and it's going to be garbage. People are going to think that I'm an amateur. And I had all these, you know, fears. I was really self-conscious about it. But then I realized, you know, when I got started, I didn't have much of an audience. So not really a lot of people were looking at me. So it's not such a big deal. And I'll probably get better by the time I have a larger audience. And luckily I did. So, so I'm really speaking out experience here. And I really think that working on this craft, communicating through the written word, can really help so many aspects of your business and your general communication skills in expressing what you do. Guys, I have more when it comes to this question, but before that, I wanna tell you about an event that's happening in November. Usually at this point of the show, I have a mid-roll, I have a sponsor ad that I share with you, but I wanna share with you an event that I'm a part of in November that's got me really excited. And the organizers of this event are not paying me a dime. I'm doing this because I really believe in what they're doing. A few months ago, John Lee Dumas from Entrepreneur on Fire reached out to me. John, of course, is the host of the hit best of iTunes podcast, Entrepreneur on Fire. And he told me about an event that he wanted me to speak at, an event that him and his partner, Kate Erickson, are organizing. When he told me about this event, I was just like, for sure, count me in. This sounds like a game-changing event. And the event's called Podcasters Paradise Cruise. It's November 1st to November 7th. And it's an exclusive event for only 50 people. They have 12 amazing speakers. You're going to be sharing a cruise in the Caribbean, attending amazing workshops with great podcasters. If you're thinking about starting a podcast or have a podcast, this is a must-attend event. Not only John and Kate will be there, but Andrew Warner from Mixergy, Chase Reeves, Chris Brogan, Chris Ducker, and of course, myself and Nicole will be on the cruise You'll be attending workshops, excursions, and of course, you're going to get a chance to spend seven days with these great bunch of podcasters that really know what they're doing. In my opinion, I thought this was like the ultimate networking event, and I'm a huge lover of cruises. I love cruises. So if you're interested in this amazing opportunity, there's only 50 spots available. I think they sold almost half of them already. Just head over to podcasterscruise.com and apply They have an amazing deal going on here. I mean, the price for this thing, ridiculous. Like, it's, to me, a no-brainer. It would be amazing to see you guys there on this amazing trip. Again, that's podcastcruise.com. The final thing I want to share with you when it comes to this question, do I have to start a blog for my online business, is that you don't have to do anything. You can do whatever you feel is best for your business. My job is to advise you. My job is to tell you what my experience was, what I learned through that experience, and what I feel will give you an advantage So I shared with you, you know, I think you should write. I think you should get into it. But you don't have to do it exactly like I do. You don't have to have a blog. You can do video blogs. You can do infographics or a podcast or whatever you feel most comfortable with. But the point is, is take my advice. Take what I'm saying into consideration in the decision that's best for you. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. Guys, remember, if you have a question, we'd love to answer it on Q&A weekends. We have a list of questions in our database. We will definitely get to it. Just email us at contact at 100mba.net or you can tweet at me at bizrepublic and we'll grab your question from Twitter and put it in our spreadsheet and we'll answer it on Q&A weekends. All right, guys, I want to leave you with this. When I look back at who I was as an entrepreneur, let's say five, six, even 10 years ago, I was a completely different person. What I liked and hate were completely different than now. In a lot of ways, I'm almost the opposite. So recognize the fact that we grow, we change, we develop new skills. We're not who we are forever. And one of the strengths of successful entrepreneurs is this idea of growth and flexibility, understanding that you can change, you can reinvent yourself, you can do whatever you can to be successful. You have that power, you can do what you want to do. And for the best entrepreneurs out there, they're motivated, they want a bad, and they're willing to overcome some things that they won't want to do and find a love for it over time. All right, guys, I'll check you in the next episode. We have Dory Clark, our guest teacher, teaching us how to find your breakthrough idea. Dory is a prolific writer and the author of Stand Out. I can't wait to share that episode with you tomorrow. I'll check you guys then. Take care.